So we have our inflows, we have our outflows that describe the labor market. Now we are going to make uh, we are going to make a key assumption, and an assumption that's motivated by the empirical evidence. So actually, if you look at these inflows and outflows on the labor market, what you realize is that these inflows and outflows they are almost always equal. So the two flows are balanced, which means that uh, you have as many workers who get into unemployment as they leave uh, unemployment. Okay, and so that means that your pool of employees, your pool of unemployed, they are stable. Uh, they are stable over time, and then you have disturbances that hit the labor market. For a brief period of time, the flows are imbalanced. The stock of employed, the stock of unemployed adjust to their new level, and you reach again a period of uh, balanced flows in which unemployment and employment are roughly uh, at the same level. Okay. Um, so that's a property of the labor market, and so we're going to assume, given what we see in the data, we're going to make that key assumption that the labor market flows are always balanced. That's going to be a very important assumption. Okay. So the labor market flows are balanced. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that's going to be a very convenient assumption because it will allow us to, ex to determine the number of unemployed, the number of employed, only based on the labor market tightness, the matching function, and other parameters of the model. So how do we do that? So now that we've made that assumption, that labor market flows are balanced, we can compute the labor supply. Uh, and in fact, we can also compute the unemployment rate and so on as a function of parameters of the model and the labor market uh, tightness. Uh, so maybe let's start with the unemployment rate because that's a very important uh, um, equation we can derive here. So we'll compute the unemployment rate under balanced flows. We see that this will allow us to express the unemployment rate as a function of stuff we know, uh, we know. So we've just said we start from the assumption that there are balanced flows. Okay, so we start from uh, let's see. We start from the assumption that S times L is equal to F of theta times U. And here my goal is to compute the uh, unemployment rate uh, under that assumption. Okay, So this is what I have. So first step is I'm going to rewrite uh, L, the number of employed. So the number of employed is just the number of people who are in the labor force minus the number of people who are unemployed because people in the labor force who are not unemployed, they are employed. So we can write it like this. L is just H minus U and that's equal to F of theta times U. So this is just using the definition of the labor force and employment. Okay, so here we just use what it means to be employed. Okay. All right. So what do we do here? So next step, we want an unemployment rate. Okay. Uh, that's because that's uh, the property that we're interested in here. Um, so the unemployment rate, remember, is the number of unemployed divided by the size of the labor force. So what I can do here is that I can divide my left hand side and my right hand side by the size of the labor force. Okay. So I'll get S times H divided by H. That's going to be 1 minus u divided by h. u divided by h, that's just the unemployment rate, so which we call small u. That's equal to f of theta times, and here I divide this big u uh, that we have here by h, that gives me small u, the unemployment rate. So here what I've done is I divide by h. Okay. Uh, 
All right, so I've just divided everything, but now what I can do is just collect everything. So if I, here I have S, I collect all the terms in U on the other side, so I get F of theta times U plus S times U, that comes from the other side of the equation. And so that's just U times F of theta plus S. Okay, and then what I can do is I can just uh, divide everything by f of theta plus s and then I get that u is equal to s divided by s plus f of theta. Okay, and so that's actually uh, that's a very important equation that we have here. Um, so this is showing you that once I make the assumption that my flows are balanced, I'm able to express the unemployment rate only as a function of the separation rate, S, and the job finding rate, uh, F of theta, okay? which is actually a great property. Um, and so in fact, what you can do is that you can measure the separation rate S in the data. Um, so just count how many people leave their job every month. You can compute the job finding rate in the data, how many people find a job, and then what you do is that once, then you can compute S divided by S plus F of theta and you get some measure of the unemployment rate. That measure will be very, very close to the true measure uh, of unemployment. So actually that equation that we've just derived is very accurate uh, in the data. So, you know, we, we have made an assumption that flows are balanced, but that, that assumption is very accurate uh, in reality.